guys, it is your boy King Crafts and see back in today with another video. Today we're going to be doing the render tutorial or the render effects tutorial um, for PS Touch. If you guys are using PS Touch, you can go ahead and follow the tutorial. So yeah, today I'm just gonna be um, using this practice render that um, I'm just gonna leave the credits to the guy um, who made this thing in the description down below. I think it was Pugs or something on his Twitter. Uh, he has a YouTube channel too, but he doesn't upload. But um, yeah, you guys, this is just a pretty cool render right here. Um, Made in Cinema 4D, definitely not made in animated. So guys, do smash that like button. This is the second tutorial on my channel, GFX-wise. So yeah, let's go ahead and just jump jump straight into this. So as you guys can see, there's like a couple black lines here. Um, has nothing to do with the render, it's just there. So what I usually do is just go ahead and go here, go to select pixels, and um, oh yeah, as you can see, there's um like a white spot up top. But let me just go ahead and get done with that first. I'm just gonna go here and go to the Polygon selection selection tool. <laughs> And here we go right here. Just gonna take this off. Um, I don't know why this white spot spots right here. All right, so I took that off. Um, I'm not sure that was supposed to be there or not. So I'm just gonna go here, go to select pixels, and then I'm going to go back to the um the square with the thing G on top and I'm gonna go to transform and this what this does is just cuts out some of the edges so I'm just gonna do slash um, negative one and then as you see it has a little bit of a red spot on it so it's gonna press check and then go to the pencil and press cut I'm um, not cut don't press cut um, press extract and then there you guys can see is um, all the black lines are gone so yeah now what we're gonna do is do some effects for the render so this is what I usually start off with first when I'm doing a speed or whatever. I just go to the plus option, duplicate layer, and then now what I'm going to do is go to um, select pixels, and this is just um, um, just go to N and then gradient, and this is just one of my gradients right here. If you guys want to copy, you guys can go ahead and do it, but I'm not gonna make a pack for it because I charge for those. So you guys, here we go. Just gonna go ahead and make this gradient right here. Um, there might be a gradient thing which you can on YouTube that you guys can follow, but yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is go to this square tool right here, I'm not sure what it's called, and I guess it's called blend mode or whatever. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go here to overlay. And as you see, it just adds this effect. Um, it's just like really brighter. So I'm just gonna put the opacity down to 50, and that should be good right now. So I'm just gonna merge this down, and yeah, it should look pretty bright. But don't worry, guys. I'm just gonna duplicate the layer, go to the adjustments, and black and white right here. And as you can see, it adds a gray effect to it. I just put on overlay so it looks a little bit better. See, so yeah, let me just go ahead and grab this render here again. Um, here's just some other things I was downloading from Twitter, but yeah, as you see, here's like um how it used to look and how it looks now. Um, I'm just gonna leave this right here, just so like you guys can see um the difference. So let me just go ahead and transform this over here a little bit. There we go. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is add on some effects to the sword. So yeah, now what I do for the effects part. Um, I actually, actually, no, no, we're just gonna do some extra. So let's go ahead and go to duplicate layer. Go ahead and go to select pixels and FX edges. And as you can see, it just adds a little edge here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the trust hold down to one. And then, um, put the blank, the back color to opacity to zero. And then put the width maybe up to like 1.6 or 7. I don't know you guys can mess with that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in linear dodge. And as you see, it just adds this plastic wrap effect. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is just put the opacity down just a little bit, and now I'm gonna grab my eraser tool. Here it is, right here, and here's just the stats for you guys. You can go ahead and copy that. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is get the pointer out and erase some of the stuff here. And if it's not like all erased, um, I'm just gonna put the opacity down again. So yeah, let's go ahead and erase some of that. So there we go. Uh, looks pretty good right now. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this down a little bit. Um, there we go. See, I can barely see it. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the difference. Uh, so I'm just gonna hide this, and as you see, this is the difference. You guys barely can see it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and merge this down. And then here is another feature. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go here. Uh, I think it's like it's already selected. And I go back to edges, and here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the opacity all the way back up. And check that, should be good, and put it in overlay. And then put it in maybe 10, I don't know, yeah, 10 might be good. And as you see, it adds another plastic wrap effect, so if you hide this, um, yeah, as you see, it adds that effect. I really like that effect, that's like a really good one. So it's going to put this on 13, should be pretty good, so merge that down. And yeah, as you see, 
the render is looking better already so let's go ahead and go to empty layer this is something that no one ever does um well i'm probably the first person that's doing it in a tutorial so yeah, as you can see i already got the yellow picked up here so i'm just gonna go ahead and put the brush size up a little bit go ahead and go to select pixels and that should um get it so i won't go out the line so let me just go ahead and go to the brush again and maybe put the brush up a little bit more as you see this is just adding a quick glow right here um don't do on this layer though just do on the empty layer i, I mess up sometimes um like when i do a speed art mess up so yeah let's go ahead and do this and put it in linear dodge and as you see it adds that extra glow effect to it um you guys might want that and if you don't um then don't use it and here's something that i actually haven't seen anyone do before uh so let's go ahead and go here and go to the lines right here and I got my pointer selected. So as you see, uh, this is how to add the lines onto your effects. So I'm just going to go to empty layer. And as you see, I'm just going to do this. And as you see, we got an awesome line here. So I'm going to just hide the pointer and transform it a little bit so it can actually look a little bit better. So here we go right here. Um, it's up a little bit more. There we go. And as you see, this adds an awesome line right there. It just looks so good. Oh, man, I actually haven't tried this in like a long time. I don't know, but let me just go ahead and go to deselect um, before anything messes up. Hopefully, it doesn't. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good still. So, yeah, let's go ahead and duplicate the layer again. I'm going to be doing this a couple more times. You guys can go ahead and follow along with me if you want to do this. pretty good pretty good uh yeah so that's how you do the lines if you guys want to follow that go ahead and do that do, go ahead and do so so i'm just gonna merge it down and all right does that make it all right no nah, it's still the same still the same so yeah as you see it is different now so yeah i might go ahead and do some more effects on the the line the line effects uh, oh i did not mean to do that um yeah i might go ahead and do some more so yeah i'll be right with you guys once i get done doing it And here's another way I do stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the show pointer again. And now I'm gonna go to the lasso selection tool. And what this does is make sure that you stay inside the line. So here yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you know make a little line glow right here. Um, make sure it's on the lines, guys. Got to be pretty steady. I don't know how the people on Photoshop PC do it though, but they're pretty good at it. So you guys probably know what I'm doing now. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and plus go to the plus thing. I'm gonna do it for the same side over here too. See, I be pretty steady when you're doing this. You don't want to mess up, or you're gonna have to do it all over again. So this is how um, I'm gonna do it. There we go. Still on the lines. And now what I'm gonna do is go to the brush selection tool right here. Um, there we go. And as you can see, um, just get rid of this right here. Get rid of this and go back to the circle. Um, yeah. Put the um. Oh God, this is really high. Put the brush size down a little bit, like a lot, because you don't want it to look really stupid so yeah as you see this is what i'm gonna do now it's just gonna be like a line glow um this i think this is yeah i think this looks pretty good um may, maybe I, I might just have to put the opacity down a little bit um yeah it's just an extra effect there i don't know if it looks bad or not but yeah you guys go ahead and try that i'm gonna merge it down and now what i'm gonna do uh you guys might have to download one of these gra graphics packs i might actually put it in the description down below so i'm just gonna go ahead and save this right now this looks pretty good and now i'm gonna show you guys a different um uh, eye glow they use so here it is i'm just gonna go ahead and paste this right here and as you see um you got the eye glows uh so i'm just gonna leave it in the description down below so i'm just gonna go ahead and go layer selection and i'm gonna cut this right here and now what i'm gonna do is go to fx tint and tint it make sure you tint it the eye color that um the eyes already colored you use the eyedropper tool this right here or you could just use um different colors so i'm just gonna use this uh, as you see there's a red right there and now i'm just gonna go ahead and transform it i think this is how the eye is supposed to look um it might be it has to be the other way around i'm not sure let me let me, let me see the other way around it might be like that uh no nah, it's the other way it's the other way so yeah it looks better like this so there we go and then you just put in linear dodge and then it look it'll look way better than this right now um uh snap i think i just, just do like this yeah like that i'm not sure that looks good or not um might look a little bit funny you guys don't have to try this but um i'm just gonna try it because i do that sometimes for my speed arts uh there we go 
And I'm, now what I'm going to do is just merge them down right here. And I'm going to get rid of this extra one right here. I'm just going to delete it. Because I don't really need it now. And I go back to the lasso selection tool. Show pointer. And I'm going to cut some of the extra parts of it right here. Like this. And then I'm going to go plus here. And then do the same thing. Uh, so you guys should begin the hang of things. Let me just cut that. And as you can see, it looks way better. Like, it literally looks like it's in... Like, let me just show you guys um how it used to look. Let me just show you guys. Um, there it goes. That's how it used to look. And now it looks like this. So, let me duplicate layer. And, yeah, now it looks way better. Uh, merge it down. And, yeah, that's kind of um maybe all I have for this. I might actually just add effect to the other sword right there. So, I'm going to go to empty layer. Get the brush again. Maybe go to white. Uh, yeah, I think the white will do. And make the brush a little bit bigger. Select pixels. And let's see how this effect will look. Um, yeah, it'll look better. Oops, I didn't mean to do it on that layer. Um, yeah, it'll look better. Let me just. There we go. And go. I'm um, sorry for that voice crack. Go to linear dodge. And yeah, as you see, it just adds another effect. So you guys go and use that. And go merge it down. And if you guys hear some background noise, it's just the um, washing machine cutting on and off. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But yeah, that's how you do that part. And this guy has a little fancy hat on top. So I don't have to do anything with that. So yeah, that's kind of all I have for this tutorial right now, you guys. Yeah, that is going to be the end. If you guys want to add a mouth, um, I'm actually adding a mouth to see how it looks. So I got the mouth right here, as you see, um, all over there. But that's not how the mouth is going to look. It looks pretty cool like that, though. I might keep it like that. Um, maybe put it up a little bit more and like that. Yeah, that yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. But that is the end of the graphics tutorial. I'm just going to keep the mouth like that, maybe. Um, transform it a little bit more. I'll put it over to the side. If you guys like it like that, you can just tell me in the comment section down below. But yeah, that's going to be the end for the render tutorial. Um, not the render tutorial. I might do a render tutorial when I get a faster computer. Yeah, but this is just the render effects tutorial. Hope you guys all did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, then please do smash that like button down below. Comment on what you guys want me to do in the future. And yeah, this has been the render tutorial. I'll see you guys all in the second tutorial, which will which will be the Cinema 4D one. Yeah, see you guys all next one. Peace.